that's fascinated with CBD oil. And, you know, I, 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 my pharmacist was kind of sprinkling his nose up at it. He's like, oh, I don't like it. There's not enough. And then I'll go to my regular GP who's like, yeah, sure, go for it. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not seeing a true yay or nay on the use of it. What have you found? Well, when people try it and it works, that convinces them that it's real. Uh, med- medical professionals, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're risk averse. They're always going to go back to where well, there's no studies. Well, there's no studies because it was considered illegal for all these years. So sure. nothing was ever done. So now that it's out there and, you know, for consumers to, to, to acquire and they try it and it works, then that's, that convinces them that oh, basically their medical professionals don't really know what they're talking about. I wondered, though, um, d- it, maybe you're in such pain, you've heard that this is a miracle cure. It, could it be in their head that it's really not as fabulous, but that y- y- if you, by gosh, if you think something's going to work, sometimes those placebos work. What do you think? No, it actually does work. Yeah, it's it, I mean, there, there's always going to be some kind of placebo effect for any drug, but you know, people again, it reduces inflammation. And inflammation causes pain. <clears throat> so, you know, people that again, not everybody, but most people that use CBD get relief. Uh, I, I'm one of those. My right, arthritis right. went away. It hasn't been been around for five years because um, I use CBD every day. So that's what convinced me that it really does work. And I find that the uh, I've got a lotion. I, I broke down and got just, man, I don't know, getting old as hell. Suddenly, I'm just really yeah. just creaky bones. And and I didn't get the oil, but I got a lotion. They said, why don't you just start with the like the hand lotion first and just to rub it on your back, just on, on the small of your back. Oh, my God, I love it. That's crazy. Well, you got, you got, okay, so here, here, here's, here's the thing with, with the lotions and the creams and the topicals. Okay, look, look, look at the ingredient list. Okay. Generally, they have menthol, camphor, um, uh, I can't think of the other, some other ingredients in there. You know what it is? It's Ben Gay. So essentially what they're doing is putting CBD in with the Ben Gay and um, you, you will get relief from the Ben Gay. But most of the time, unless you have p- true drug delivery excipients, it won't, it won't go through the dermal layer, and CBD has to work systemically. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I, I love it, though. Um, how do we convince others about it? Well, they got to try it. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of times... Um, People know, you know, their their neighbors or friends or you know family members use CBD, and they'll they'll try it. And if it gets sampled and they get the relief that everybody else is, tends to get, that then they're um, they're, they're hooked on it, and it does work. And, and and there's no there's no side effects. There's no no real downside to it. You can take a lot of CBD and you don't have any true side effects. What took us so long getting to this point? That we, we're sitting on this miracle cure. It just had the bad rap of being connected to marijuana, huh? That's, that's all it was for all these years. Well, we're going to get the right word out, I promise. <laughs> I appreciate